In this video, we will look at how we can find the equation of a line if we are given two points on the line. One important fact is that to find the equation of a line, we must have the slope. We will recall that the formula for slope is found by taking y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Using this, we can find the slope between any two points. So if we want to find the equation of the line through the points negative 3, negative 5, and 2, 5, we must first identify the slope as it is always needed to find the equation of any line. Slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Using our first and second points, we plug our values in and find y2 is 5, minus y1, which is negative 5, over x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is negative 3. Subtracting a negative is like adding a positive, and so we find that the slope of our line is 10 fifths, or 2. We now know that the slope of the line is 2, and we have a y1, y2 point. As we do not know the y-intercept, we cannot use y equals mx plus b. But we do know a specific point on the line, so we can use the point-slope formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. As we do, we can use either the first or second point for the x1 and the y1. Normally, we tend to use the first, though it doesn't technically matter which we use. Plugging in what we know, we have y minus y1, which is negative 5, subtracting negative 5 is the same as adding 5, equals m, our slope, which we just found to be 2, times x minus x1, which from our equation, from our given point is negative 3, Minus a negative 3 is like adding 3, and that will give us the equation of a line that goes through the two points. Let's try another example where we have to do just that. But this time, we're going to have the extra directions that our final answer must be in slope-intercept form. To find the equation of any line, we first need to know the slope which is found by taking y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Using our first and second points, we can plug that information into the formula. y2 is 5, minus y1 is negative 4. Over x2 is 3, minus x1 is 1. By subtracting, we can find our slope. Minus a negative is the same as adding, so we have 9 over 2. The slope of our equation is 9 halves. Using our slope and either one of our points, we can find the equation of the line. Because it's, we do not know the y-intercept, we must use the equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plugging in our information, y minus y1, which is negative 4, minus a negative is the same as adding 4, equals m, or the slope, 9 halves, times x minus x1, which is 1. Because the directions ask us to put it in slope-intercept form, we must start solving for y by distributing the 9 halves. y plus 4 equals 9 halves x, minus 9 halves. Finally, subtracting 4 from both sides, we'll solve the problem. y equals 9 halves x, minus... we've got negative 9 halves and negative 4, which is over 1, multiplying by 2 to get a common denominator. Negative 9 halves minus 8 halves is negative 17 halves. This is our equation in intercept form.